the objective of this video is to show you how uh, you can read the Z table and also how you can do the same thing using your graphic calculator for those who have your graphic calculator. So I want you to have your uh, Z table uh, out and this is what I mean by the Z table. So you should have this in your books. So this is called the standardized normal distribution or in, in short we can call this a Z table. Okay. So let's read the question. The length of songs played by an FM radio stations are normally distributed. So this is a very key word. It is normally distributed. Okay, with a mean of three minutes ten seconds and a standard deviation of ten seconds. So yeah, sorry, fifteen seconds. So standard deviation is in seconds. So mean mu, this is this is this is the notation for mean. This is a Greek letter mu is 3 minutes, 3 minutes, 15 seconds, 10 seconds, sorry. So let's change this into seconds. So 3 minutes is how many seconds? 1 minute is 60 seconds, so 180. So this is 190 seconds. And your standard deviation is sigma. SD is standard deviation is 15 seconds. So everything is in seconds now. Okay, the first question is, now, those who know how to do this, this is the answer. So I have, uh, this is from one of the uh, textbooks or workbooks. So the answer is this. So I, you can do this. You can pause this video and try to do this yourself. Uh, what is the probability that a randomly chosen song is more than three minutes? So the first thing that uh, I would like you to do, or uh, it's always good to draw a normal curve. So this is your... Uh, your random variable so on um, this is your normal curve a normal curve is a normally distributed curve is a bell-shaped curve so the mean always comes in the middle the mean is 190 seconds so let me write here this is your x value this is your random variable x and i'm going to write the z value underneath it so 190 seconds so what's the question it is more than three minutes. So three minutes is how many seconds? Is 180 seconds. So if this is, we are everything writing in seconds. So this is 190 seconds. The question is, what is the probability that a randomly chosen song is more than three minutes? That means more than 180 seconds. So your 180, the line for 180 would come here. So this is 180 seconds here. So yeah. Your z value, you should be knowing the formula for z. z is x, your random variable x minus mu over standard deviation. Now, this top, x minus mu, tells you how far away, uh, how far away your random variable is from the mean. And when you divide by this, you're finding your, ran your random variable x is how many standard deviation away from the mean. So yeah, without even looking at, without knowing the formula, if someone is asking you, 190 is how many standard deviation away from mean? So, 190 is zero standard deviation away from mean, so that is zero. So if you use the formula, this is like this. So you go 190, your x is 190, so 190 minus 190 divided by standard deviation, which is 15. So that is zero over 15, which is zero. So this is your your z value corresponding to the mean is always zero. This is zero, and the other z that we need to find is for 180. So for that you go one. Your x is 180, so it's 180 minus 190 divided by standard deviation, which is 15, which is minus. This is how much minus 10 over 15. So dividing both by two, it's minus two thirds. Minus, uh, you can use a calculator, so minus two third, and which is 0 0.67. Okay, so this is Z value is minus 0 0.666, or minus 0 0.67. Okay, so let me do this on a calculator. So you can go like this, menu run. So I'll put this in the bracket, 180, minus 190 
this tells you how far away your 180 is. So you can say minus 10 means 180 is 10 to the left of mean. This minus 10 tells you this is 10 to the left of mean and then you're dividing by 15. That means you can say uh, your x value is 2.67 standard deviation to the left of mean. So divide by 15. That is zero, negative 0 0.67. So this is your z value corresponding for that is minus 0 0.67. So this is, these are the two things that you need to do to find the so to find the probability. So this area gives you the probability. The table, the z table, is a table of probabilities uh, with respect to the standard deviation. So your z value is nothing but your standard deviation okay so let's so we'll have to look look up for the z value of negative 0.67 so this is my z table and vertically this is your z value okay so this is your z value in your first uh, so in this is your first decimal place this is your second decimal place and this is your third decimal place so your values the probability you can you can uh, round your uh, z to three decimal places so i'll go down to 0 0.6 so this is 0 0.6 so let me draw a line so this is 0 0.6 so i'm underlining 0 0.6 so i have to go this is your 0 0.6 and you have to go across to seven this is seven so this is the value 0. Point, uh, okay, so I think I didn't shade it. So this is 0. 0.2486. So let me go back. I think I made a mistake. This is 0. 0.2486. Okay, you can, if you can't see this table, you have to have your own table, 0. 0.2486. So let me go back. So what we're saying is this probability or this area is 0. Point I forgot the number, 0 0.2486. This is 0 0.2486. So the question is more than, so this is the probability. This is the area that we're looking for. This is the area. Okay, so the table only gives you this area. It is between some value of, sorry, it's from 0 to some value of z. Negative or positive would be the same because it is symmetrical to both sides of mean. So this is 0 0.2486, and we already know the probability of a random variable to be over mean is 0 0.5. This is 0 0.5. So if you go 0 0.5 plus 0 0.2486, 2486 will give you this answer. So I think this is a more exact answer. They have used a graphic calculator. I will check that. So the answer according to the table is 0 0.7486. Okay, so let's check this on a calculator. So let's check whether we have 0 0.6. We should have, yeah, 0 0.67. This is fine. Okay, 2486. But I think the answer that the textbook has given is based on your graphic calculator. So how do you do it on a graphic calculator? So this is, uh, this is if you round it to three decimal places, it, this is 0 point, uh, 0 0.748. So that will be different because this is more exact. So let me show how you can do this on a graphic calculator. So the first thing that you do is you go to stats. Then you go to F5, which is your distribution. I'm going very slowly. So get your calculators out. So this is F5, that is distribution. And then this is a normal distribution. This stands for normal distribution. And now you have to go for no normal cumulative distribution, F2. And then they're asking you what's your lower and what's your upper. So, so let me show you. So let's find this area because we already know this is 0 0.5. So your lower is 180. And the upper is how much? Upper is 190. This is your uh, standard deviation of 15 seconds. And your mu, which is your mean, is 190 seconds. 
and then uh, execute 24 yeah so this is 2475 can you see this is uh, the calculator is more exact 2475 and this is 2486 so the answer is fine both the answers are perfectly fine so if you add 0 0.5 to this so then you can get 0 0.24 uh, 247 this is again not matching with this but doesn't matter both these answers are fine okay uh, I want you to do the next question if you can the next question is the same probability uh, the same data mean is 190 and standard deviation of 15 Uh, hopefully you have done this. The same question, the first thing that you do is you draw the x coordinate or x axis where this is where you're going to show your x and your z. Okay, and uh, this is your normal curve and your mean is 190 seconds. This is 190 seconds, so this is your x and I'm going to do this is your x values and this are your z values. So two minutes is 120, so 120 plus 58, which is 178 seconds. 178 seconds, so less than, less than one, this is 190 seconds. So the question is, what's the probability that a, a song chosen randomly is less than 178 seconds? So 178, say, comes here. 178 so you want to find this probability so the next thing that you always do is to shade the area that you want to find now to find this probability the table is going to give us this probability this area is what the table is going to give us so to find this area so let me do it like this this area would be 0 0.5 minus so let me do use a different color color coding so this area your green area would be 0 0.5 minus the brown area minus the brown area would give you this area okay i hope you understand because uh, we know that 50 percent of your probabilities or 50 percent of the data is to the left of me so we're going to use the table to find this area so again the same thing we know this is zero you want to find this value of z so we know the formula of z z is x the random variable x minus mu over sigma so what's your random variable which is 178 take away 190 so i'm going to round this to three decimal places so that you know how to read the table over 15 in the last example i didn't round it i think that's why we got a different answer so uh so let's use a calculator menu run uh, i'll put this in the bracket 178 take away 190 divided by 15. okay so this is a exact 0, 0 0.8 negative 0 0.8 so the z value doesn't make sense so this is negative 0.8 so this is negative 0.8 so we're going to look for the area corresponding to the z value of 0.8 okay so <clears throat> this z table again tells you the area between 0 to some positive value of z so as this table or as this curve is symmetrical a positive value of z or a negative value of z has the same area so don't look at the negative you're only looking at the value z so let me scroll this down so this is your area so let me erase this so we are looking for 0 0.8 so this is your 0 0.8 and across to 0 so this is 0 0.2881 okay so this area this area is 0 0.2881 2881 okay so your probability i'm writing in short probability would be 0 0.5 
take away 0 0.2881. We'll check this on a calculator. So where's my calculator? So, uh, so delete 0 0.5, take away 0 0.2881, which is exact 0 0.2119. So the answer we have checked is 2119. In my previous, in the previous example, we rounded it to 1 dp. So if we had rounded it to 3 dp, we would have got an exact answer. Okay. So let's look at one more question. Between 3 minutes 19 seconds and 3 minutes 47 seconds. So first, let's change this into seconds. So this is 180. This is 180 plus 19 which is 199 seconds. And this is 180, this is 180 plus 47. So this is 180 plus 40 is 220. And this is 227 seconds. You want to find the probability that a randomly chosen song is between 199 and 227 seconds. So we have to find two values of Z Okay, so this is your normally distributed curve. Your mean is 190. This is 190 seconds. So this is your x value. And we want to find between 199. This is 199 seconds. And this is 227 seconds. 227 seconds. So first, find, let's find first find the z value so your z i'll call this z1 okay so this is say z z sub naught z sub naught is zero so z value corresponding to your mean is zero so this is z call this sub sub naught so this is zero so let's first z1 we'll have to find what is z1 and what is z2 so i would like you to do this yourself so, so z1 would be x minus mu over sigma. This is your formula. So your x, your random variable is 199, take away 190, uh, 180, yeah, divided by 15. Okay, so let's use a calculator. Uh, bracket. This is 9 divided by 15, am I right? So this is simply 9 divided by 15, which is 0 0.6. So this is exact Z. This is, you don't have to round it. So this is 0 0.6. And what's your Z2? So your Z2, this is your answer for those who want to do it yourself. So this is 227 minus 190 divided by your 15. So again, get the calculator out. It's always good to do it uh, with a calculator because you don't do mistakes of addition and subtraction, which is not what is the focus here. So this is so this is a good. Uh, so I'm going to round it to three dp. So this is 2.467. I'll round it to because the z table you can read up to three decimal places. So it's 2.467. So let me write this. So this is 2.467. Okay, so this is the area we want to find. This is the area we want to find. So how can we find this area? Now you have to think in a very simple, logical manner. Okay, what does the table give you? Table always gives you area between 0, z is equal to 0, to some value of z. Okay, so what we're saying is, if you find this blue, if what we're going to do is, we'll, we're going to find this blue area. We're going to find this blue area that is between 0 to 2 point, uh, this is 2.467. So first find this blue area, and from the blue area, we're going to take away this green area. We'll give you this red area, so let us color code this. So this red area is your blue area. Yeah, this is your blue area minus 
minus your green area. From blue area, if you take away the green area, you will get the red area. So what we're going to do is we'll first find the area corresponding to 2.467 and then take away the area corresponding to 0 0.6. Okay, so again, let's go to the table 2.467. Remember that. So let me cancel this. 2.4. So first two, uh, first two decimal places to go vertically. So 2.4. So let's go down to 2.4. First go to 2.4. Okay, 2.467. So this is how you read. This is your 2.4. Okay, 2.4 and this is 6. Okay, I have to see both of them. This is your 6. So 2.46 is 0.4929. And 7 is this. You have to add this value. It's not making much of a difference. This is 1. So this, this is how you read it. So I'll do it here so that you can see it. So this is 0 0.4929. 4929. And to that you have to add 1 here. Okay, so this is so this is 0 0.4930. The probability is the probability or the area for the uh, z value of 2.467 is 0 0.4930. Okay, so let me go back. So the blue area, so let me do it in a cooler a color coding. This blue area is let me go back, 0 0.49, 0 0.4930. So the blue area is 0 0.4930. And this green area, so let's try the green area. What's the green area? It is for the, uh, for the value of 0 0.6. So this is 0 0.6. That is easy to read. This is 0 0.6. So it is 0 0.2258. So the green area, or the area corresponding to the value of 0.6 is, I again forgot the number, 0.2258. Okay, 0 0.2258. 0.2258. So the probability that we need would be the blue area, which is 0.4930, take away 0.2258. We'll check this on the calculator. Okay, calculator will be more exact. So 0 0.4930 minus 0.2258, which is 0.2672. So let's check 0.2672. So it's almost right, 0.26. This is right, 2672. So how do you do this on a calculator? The cal if you have a graphic calculator, the graphic calculator does it for you. But this is a good way of learning because later on you'll have to do some examples you can't do without with a graphic calculator. You need to know how to read the Z table. So this answer is quite near, is almost exact. Okay, 0 0.2674. So how to do this on a calculator again? Go to stats menu. Okay. So you want to find between this and this. So again, distribution FI, normal, NCD. So the lower is 199, and the upper is 227. It will directly give you the answer. Okay? So that's, this is what, this is how I think they have used the graphic calculator. So this is exact, 0 0.2674. Okay. And finally, this question. You can pause. Hopefully, you're done this question. Uh, okay. One weekend, the radio station played 250 songs that were over two minutes, 45 seconds long. Estimate the number of songs that were played. Okay. So this is uh, a different type of question. So this is two minutes. So let me let's first draw the normal curve. We know the data, the same information. Uh, okay, so first draw the normal curve. 
this is your normal curve and your mean is 190. So this is your x value and we want to find your z value. Okay, so two minutes is 120 plus 45 seconds, so 165 seconds. So 165 comes here. This is 165 seconds. Uh, over This is over two minutes, 45 seconds. So this is this area. This is this area. So what we have to do is find this probability, which is out of one. Okay, this would be out of one. So here we are saying uh, this is, okay, uh, the radio station played 250 songs that were over. So this corresponds to 250. So this probability, this probability corresponds to 250 songs. So the question is, how many songs were played? So if you know this probability corresponds to 250, the total number of songs would be 1. Uh, the total probability of this, of any distribution is 1. Okay, so let's first find this area. The table will give us this area. The table will give us this area. We already know this is 0.5. So first we have to find the Z value. So your Z value would be 165 minus 190 divided by 15. So let's get the calculator out. Menu, run. So this is 165 minus 190 divided by 50, which is negative 1.667. Okay, I'm going to round this to 3 dp, negative 1.667. This is zero. So first, let's find this area. Uh, so the total probability, first uh, first find the probability which corresponds to this, and then we're going to find the total. Okay, so first go to 1.667. Okay, so this is my table, so let me delete this. So one first go to 1.6. Okay, so let me draw a line. So this is 1.6. The first thing you have to go, 1.6. So the first two DP is here. 1.6 across to 6. So this is your second decimal place. So this is 0.4515. So let me write 0.4515 is the probability. And 7. For 7, it is 7. So you add 7 to this. So this is 0.4522. 0 0.4522. 0 okay. So let's go back to the question. So we can say... 0.45. Oh no, this is not the question. Point. This is 0 0.4522. So this area is 0.45. Am I doing it right? 0 0.4522. Yeah, I'm right. 0 0.4522. This area is 0 0.4522. So the total area would be point. 0.4522. This is double two. So the total area would be 0 0.9522. So we are saying, what we are saying is for the probability of 0 0.4522, you have how many songs? I've got 250 songs. So if it is one, if the probability is one, which is the whole normal distribution you will have how much? That's the question. So I hope you understand what you have to do is, you have to multiply, so your answer would be 250 divided by 0.9522. Okay, so to get, or think logically why you have to divide, I don't want you to understand anything. To get to one from 0.9522, what would you do to 0.9522? Well, I would divide this by 0 0.9522. So if you divide 0 0.9522 by 0 0.9522, you get 1. So you do the same thing to this 250. So to divide 250 by 0 0.9522. So 
250 divided by 0.9522 will give you the total number of songs. So it is 262 or 263 songs. And that's what you got, 262 or 263 songs. Both are right. So there were totally 262 or 263 songs that were played in the weekend.